To the end, to the A, better known as B, 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 D. A motivating, captivating personality. With weight loss, hair care, yeah, you know with me. Much more than a diva hard hitter, never quit it in a winner, so you know that I will. Seek to educate, regulate, never violate, never teach and hate, but I will participate at a high rate in living my life much like it is golden. Blessing brains with the knowledge and the skills to be real while they pass steadily and I'm blessing everything I do, I keep it real and true, so to my viewers I can get through. I'm on the quest to change and grow, I let my spirit flow, freely to my high calling. On the real, I appreciate your love, I'm repping God above, and with this I'm never falling. On the quest for amazing, for greatness, anticipating, amazed that so long you viewed, I'm so glad to. Hi YouTubers, it's your girl Beautiful Brown Baby Doll and uh, today's video is just me ranting about basketball wives but also showing you a new hairstyle so it may come out wrong or it may come out right. I don't know how it's going to come out. Um, but either way, I was just thinking that I'll just find a new way to add just a different little mix on the texture of my hair. Uh, what I'm simply going to do is going to be something simple to Curly Nikki's method of just twisting and placing the rollers at the end. But I'm going to use the very small rollers because you all know I work out. Um, so in the morning, my hair is going to get wet anyway. So I'm just going to see what it looks like. And if it doesn't look like, you know, I'll adapt it. But say hi to my booby. She just got groomed, so she's not in the best of moods right now. She has little ponytails right now. This is Bella, my little toy poodle, who is my mini-me. So, she's going to say bye-bye. It's her bedtime, so I'm going to let her go in the front room. But, um, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started. My hair is looking a little crazy. This is the result of a very old light blow-dry job that I did over the weekend. Um, I've worked out <laughs> on this, I think, twice now. So, it's um, it's shrunken. So, there you have it. Uh, Y'all know my hair shrinks a lot. So it's quite longer than it looks. But, there we go. Um, today, I have my duckbill clips. I have my rat tail comb. I have just a few things for styling. I'm going to use my It Takes Two to Shango hair butter just for moisture uh, by me. I'm also going to use my O'Shea It Ain't So um, hair glosser. And let me see. I'm also going to keep handy just my water mixed with a little detangler just in case I encounter some very detangleable situations. Of course, I have my rollers that I'm going to put at the end. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do with my hair is instead of braiding it, I think I'm going to twist it. And I'm not going to make small twists. It's just going to be kind of big. So, um, this is merely just an experiment and to rant. But as I rant, as I do my hair, like I said, let me rant. So, you all know, I like basketball wives. And I'm starting to really struggle with liking basketball wives. Because I feel like um, a lot of the women on the show don't have a lot to live for. Why do I say that, you might ask? Um... And these sections, sorry guys, they're going to be kind of big. I'm not going to sit here and make little sections. And just to tell you, I'm just applying 
the It Takes Two to Shango for moisture there. Um, the old shade ain't so for shine. And then also, I have a little styling gel, which is the herbal styling gel from goingnatural.com. So there's that. Okay. But to get back to what I was talking about, um, I feel like these women have nothing better to do but to argue, bicker, and make up stories about other people, even if they're not true. I feel like that's horrid considering there's not a whole lot of us on TV anyway. So it's crazy to me um, that when they have the chance to make some kind of a difference, they don't. But what do you expect? I mean, I guess it's basketball wives. But this week particularly got to me because I feel like um, I'm really growing to not have a great respect for Evelyn. I don't know how y'all feeling about Evelyn, but I'm not feeling her, right? Um, I feel like she's really uh, very deceptive, manipulative, and conniving. And she's the prime reason why... Um, I feel like in our community, though she's Latino, which I feel like um, anybody can relate to this because there's even people, there's even people of Caucasian background on the show. Um, I feel like we just tear each other down and I feel like she's the one who when she gets something, she wants to flaunt it. And in my opinion, she's trying to make even Jen feel jealous about the fact that she's with Chad Ocho Cinco, which is if you ask me, I don't know Chad Ocho Cinco, but I don't need to know him to know he's no prize to be won. It doesn't seem. So, um, I don't know what she thinks she's won, but you get what you, I guess what you emit. I mean, he, she's not to me that high of a caliber of person. And so therefore she's not going to attract that high of a caliber of person. Now I'm going to move on to Tammy as well. I want to know you all's take on Tammy because she's been getting involved in a lot of drama, but for some reason I have a respect for Tammy that I don't have for a lot of the women on the show. Um, I feel like Tammy doesn't just argue or pick on people for any particular reason. I think um I think she is a little dramatic sometimes, but I think she that's just her. You know, that's just her. There's no fake in it. There's no plans to hurt people um which I feel like is the difference between her and Evelyn. I also feels like she feels like she's a little bit more genuine. Uh I think she really does like the women on the TV show and wants the best for them. Um, but, you know, Tammy is Tammy. But I love the girl. I think she's my favorite on the show. Um, as far as the rest of them, I like Jen. I think Jen is a beautiful woman. And I think she's a beautiful depiction of a black woman. She's gorgeous. But at the same time, I feel like Jen is lacking a lot of self-esteem and a confidence. And she depends on Evelyn to tell her every move she needs to make and everything she must do. Um, and that hurts my heart because she's older than me and still seeking, which we do, the validation of many other people for our directions in life and what we should do. So I want y'all to chime in on that conversation, but you know what? I said this was only about basketball wise, but I'm gonna talk about single ladies too because that's starting to become a really good show for me. And I like the show. Because I feel like um, it does get shed uh, a light on uh, what a lot of singles go through these days. And um, though I feel like there's a lot of sex infused into the show, which is not necessarily true for every single, um, I feel like it does depict a lot of the same situations, like the situation with the mayor. Um, where he got caught sleeping with uh, the young lady who had a husband. All of those different things. I feel that those are things that people do encounter. Um, and also even like I, I relate more with Keisha's character. Because I am one of those girls who I don't always allow um, the feelings of somebody to overcome 
the thoughts. So I usually think with my head and not with my heart. Uh, and so I really do relate to her a lot. And so I wanted to get you all's take on those things too. So chime in on the video. And guys, I'm going to go ahead and come back when my hair is all the way twisted. And then after that, I'm going to have some still pictures of what it came out to be like. I'm not really twisting tightly or anything. This is just to add a little loose texture. All right. See you soon. Okay, guys, I am back and all done. And you know what? Uh, my talk was not the extent of what I wanted to talk to you all about. I also want to tell you about um, a program that is taking place. And you all know that I'm all about confidence. I am all about restoring self-esteem. And so announcing to you this program that will be taking place is important. Uh, it's the restoring of self-esteem among queens. And if you all know my girl, High Maintenance, she is a part of those who are putting on this conference and i want to tell you a little bit about it and all the information so i don't forget anything um and i know we've been sitting here talking about basketball wise it's the perfect time to talk about restoring confidence because i feel like a lot of them chicks are lacking so let's go uh the conference is august 27th from 12 to 6 p.m the location is to be announced however it is in chicago illinois um the vip brunch will be taking place from 10 to 11:30. And then 11.30 to 12, there is pre-shopping experiences. And then the VIP people who have the VIP tickets will get the extra 10% off from all their purchases from the vendors. So y'all going to want to get your VIP tickets. Um, they will also receive brunch, a picture with all the YouTubers that are there, um, and the VIP gift bag extraordinaire, which will include makeup. Um, hair accessories, soy candles, jewelry, motivational CD from Emerging Wisdom, and an event t-shirt, which is a $20 value. So you're getting a lot from being a VIP person. Um, the gift bag alone is worth more than $50. So you'll have great vendors. I also want to let you all know that Miss Black Nicor and then a, a world-renowned spoken artist, uh, spoken word artist, Miss Interpretation and Tiffany Renee will always also be in the house. Um, you will have a guest appearance from some surprise YouTubers. Uh, if I am able to make it, I will definitely be in the house. So you may have the chance, another chance to meet your girl. Uh, Queen Natural Beauty, who is the owner of the Beauty Bar, uh, will be keynotes and uh, will be a keynote speaker as well as high maintenance. Uh, the YouTubers that are a part of the conference, you got High Maintenance, you got Queen Natural Beauty, you got Tiffany Renee, Black Liqueur, and hopefully me. <laughs> so hopefully so. And we want to say, um, and everybody who's putting on this conference, I don't want to say we, because hopefully I'll be in attendance, uh, want to say thank you for all your love and support. So guys, head over uh, to High Maintenance and make sure that you check her out and check out the video, the official video for it. I will place the links in this video um, so that you all know where to go, know how to purchase your tickets, and know how to do all of that. I'm going to keep on making sure that you all are up on this. It will be in Chicago, Illinois, and you'll want to keep an eye on her channel to find out more about um, the time and the place. And when I know that, I'll let you all know. I mean, the place. I'm sorry, we have the time, but the place. So um, after I come back, it will be morning and I'm going to give you all a look at what this looks like taken down after I've worked out, which you know is going to look crazy. And I have rolled this. I just want y'all to see how far I've rolled this. And look, my hair is already kind of curly. Um, I've rolled this pretty far because my hair is pretty long. And <laughs> I rolled it pretty far. And I noticed most people only roll the ends, but oh well. We'll see what comes out, right? All right, guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. See you in the morning. Okay, guys. It is the next morning, and I have taken most of my hair out of the rollers. So you can kind of get a good look at it. Um, like I said, my hair, I actually had to blow dry the roots a little bit just with the cooler setting and just run over the um, scalp because I worked out. But I wanted to give you a close-up look of how I take out the roller. And I just take out the end. And I slowly go like this to not snag the hair. So you can see. Boom. Next one. Boom. So just to give you all an idea. Because I know sometimes these basic things don't seem very obvious. Um, so now I'm going to start taking this down. And however it looks is how I'm going to wear it. Look, I'm just really taking the tops. 
and I'm pulling them apart. That's all. And I'm just going to wear this however it comes out. I have never done this style before, y'all. So this is going to be a new one on the channel. I'm already liking how it looks. And I don't think I'm going to unchunk it anymore. Meaning, um, I don't think I'm going to go through and split it any more than what it's already split. So it's just going to be like this because my hair gets huge in humidity and I am in Springfield, Illinois, humid capital of the world. So it's going to fluff up. I'm not going to pull this up. Okay, guys, so my camera managed to go out <laughs> during the video. Sorry about that. Um, but I am still taking them down. Again, you see me taking them down from the root. Had my ends been more raggedy, uh, meaning had I not just cut my ends not too long ago, I probably wouldn't take them down from the root because my hair tends to tangle at the ends. I probably would have started at the bottom and just lightly taken them out. So I have one twist left. Let me show you. If my ends are raggedy, I take it out like that because I want to be protective of the ends that are there. But this year, I've done pretty good with my ends, so... Okay, guys, that is it. This is how the style came out. I'm thinking I'm going to kind of fluff here in the middle because I don't want the back of my head to look like a big part. So I'm taking my comb here and I'm kind of lifting. I don't mind the part up here, but I don't want one to show back here. So I'm just kind of lifting with that. I didn't comb it through. I just lifted. Okay, guys, this is what I got. I really, really like it. I'm going to feel dope and fresh to death going to work. Do you hear me? Um, so this came out pretty awesome there. <laughs> this is probably going to be a style that I use whenever my uh, blowouts get really old because when I work out on my blowouts I sweat in my head and so this is a good way to make it last oh I missed one in the back there we go um, and you know this is cute I, I enjoy shrinkage a lot of people don't like shrinkage but I love shrinkage and I think it gives our hair um, a really awesome look Without shrinkage, your hair wouldn't bounce. And I mean, you know, be able to stretch and bounce back. I love it. So this is what I got, guys. I'm going to take some still pictures and put them up for you. Thanks for watching. And oh, don't forget to check out High Maintenance's channel and find out more about the Chicago Conference. Um, excellent conference. And y'all know I'm about keeping the confidence and raising the confidence. And what better way... Then restoring self-esteem among queens. So check it out. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Visit me at www.beautifulbrownbabydoll.com to interact more with me directly and also visit the forums and the blog. Make sure that you follow me on Twitter at Beautiful Brown Baby Doll, spelled a little differently than from here, and also my fan page on Twitter, Brown Baby Doll Fans, and Nina, Beautiful Brown Baby Doll Ellis Hervey on Facebook is my fan page. If you would like to find out more about how to advertise with me, email me at advertise at beautifulbrownbabydoll.com or beautifulbrownbabydoll at gmail.com to find out more, even product reviews. To find out more about the web team that designed my webpage, visit graphicfiasco.com. Much love to my girl Tiff, who designed my YouTube webpage. The links to all these pages are found below in the info box. Thanks so much, guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.